Hey there guys, welcome back to Stardew Valley. It's uh, currently 6am as you can see and um, I'm thinking I'd quite like to go to the blacksmiths at some point today and get a pickaxe upgrade. But I don't really want to be locked out of the mines for two days so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to I'm going to actually skip out the entire uh, crop watering phase and go straight to the mines and then what I'm going to do in the mines is I'm going to try and gather as much copper ore as I possibly can before 2pm and then at 2pm I'm going to head back out of the mines and head over to the blacksmiths and then put the pickaxe in so basically I'm just trying to get as much copper ore as possible because I have I have so many things I need copper ore for at the moment so I'm just trying to get that done at the moment um, I don't think I'll be needing any food and I assume actually one thing I will do is I will put this furnace away I'll also put away anything that's not useful for the mines so acorns I guess I do though I do need to get up to 5,000 gold so I'm just gonna have to pick up a few blueberries and hope that it's enough that should definitely be 800 gold worth right there so I'll swing by Pierre's on the way crap it doesn't open for two hours okay um looks like I'll just have to go there on the way back then but that's gonna be a little bit tight the timing so I might have to leave before before 2 p.m. at this rate I think Robin should be done with the uh, house upgrade tomorrow I think so that'll be good I got a new cooking recipe today from the cooking channel Mackie roll I think I you saw me get that at the end of the last episode if you watched that so yeah I can't remember what that needs but um try and get something for that or just need to kill these just look for any more bugs to kill doesn't look like there's any copper or copper ore here just break through these yeah, there doesn't seem to be any copper ore here, which is a bit annoying. Okay, but there is the way through. Pick up some quartz. I thought there was copper ore on these floors, maybe not. Maybe I've come in a bit too soon. Let's just see if we can... Perfect. Okay, I really thought there'd be more copper ore than this. So I've got, I've only got about three hours left. Let's see if I can mass kill these. Oh, there are a lot of bugs here. This is like the ultimate bug floor. I might actually stay here because um, there is that monster slayer quest to kill bugs. And so I might as well kill as many as I can. But this is really not my priority. more there. These ones are easy to kill. Well, I say that, but then there we go. And then three more up here. Oh, loads more. Okay. I'm too bothered about losing health. I'm not really going to lose much health here. Oh, there's some copper ore. Okay. I think these orange rocks... no, that's not an orange rock. I know there are orange rocks that sometimes have some copper ore in them. I think this is one. No, it's not. Okay, I don't know then. Carving knife? Is that a weapon? Level 2 dagger. Okay, that's significantly weaker than what I currently have, but uh, it's one more reason to go down to the Adventurer's Guild. So, see how that goes. Okay, 
Okay, just need to find the way down now. Perfect. Yeah, the weird spirit channel said it was going to be an unlucky day today. But it doesn't seem to be that way at the moment. Let's just break through all these. Two cave carrots, okay. Probably don't have much use for that. I can see some copper ore there in the middle of this massive spiral. I'm not sure how much time I really have to be navigating around this. Particularly because it's going to be difficult to get back. My inventory is full, really. Uh, I don't need slimes. Geode. Cool. I, I literally didn't see that full, so... Good thing I cleared out there. That's fine, I don't want fibre. Yeah, I, okay, there is there is a, an inbuilt ladder, fortunately, so that won't take too long. We'll be able to just go straight to the next floor, and then I'll probably just have to bail out straight from there. But this is taking quite a while. Okay, I'm way too late. This isn't good. If I could just find some kind of artifact to sell to sell to um what's his name Clint, then that might be okay because it would enable me to skip out the whole bit with Piers. But I don't think that's going to be possible. No, I should be out by now. I really should. Alright, let's go. Leave the mine. Okay. How am I going to get the money? Do I have time? I'm really not sure. I might have just enough time, but it's going to be really, really pushing it. Because uh, Piers is basically on the exact path that I'm going to be going down anyway. Almost. Not quite. I should really be going down those stairs there. Do I have anything that I can sell? Coal, maybe? No, that won't, that won't get me to... I need to get to 5,000. Yeah, the only way I'm going to get to 5,000 is by going to Piers. But this is really pushing it. Okay. Perfect. Um, I'll keep the cave carrots. Oh god. This is really, really tight. Oh no, I can't make it, I can't make it. Oh my god, that was so close. That was unbelievably close. Break these open. I think I've had that before. Thunder egg? No, I haven't. <laughs> okay, interesting. Ah, that's perfect. More copper ore. That's exactly what I wanted. So um, I've got enough for seven copper bars now. And it looks like I'll just about manage to get my pickaxe in for an upgrade. Yes, okay. Gold watering can. That's not going to be possible for quite a while. Okay, thanks. I'll get started on it as soon as I can. It should be ready in a couple days. Okay, that's absolutely perfect. Let's just uh, donate whatever this is, the thunder egg to the museum. Um, I don't think the location particularly matters. We'll go for there. No reward still. Okay. Now let's just head down to the beach and see if there's anything useful to be picked up there. There should be the crab pots. Should all be done. 
and there's usually a few corals and things lying around. Oh, there's Mayor Lewis. Uh, can I give him a pear? Uh, not a pear. A uh, hot pepper. No, I can't. It's Sunday, so I need to wait till tomorrow. Okay, that's not a great selection. It's better than nothing, though. Alright. Um, let's see what's on this side. One coral. Okay, that's really not great. <laughs> Should still be a bit of money, though. I could potentially do some fishing. What? Oh, he's not open today. Okay, well... I'm not going to be able to actually sell these. I mean, I'm not going to I'm not going to actually have any space for fish in my inventory right now, so I'm going to have to go back to the farm. All right, so let's sell everything we don't need. Quartz that might actually be kind of useful. Um shrimp will not be cave carrots. I can't imagine that they're worth very much, and I think I'm going to have to eat one anyway because I'm severely starved of energy right now. Uh, coal I'll keep. The rest of this stuff... Actually, oyster. That can go. Uh, the rest of this stuff I'll keep on me for now, but um, I'll go pick up all the vegetables and do all the watering of the plants and stuff, so I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, so that was actually a really good haul. We got purple mushroom, which we've never had before. Um, we got three red mushrooms, which I don't think I sold the last one, so I'm not sure how much they're worth. Chanterelle, I know, is worth a hell of a lot. Uh, mayonnaise is worth a lot. Uh, I know purple mushroom goes into some kind of bundle, so that's also good to have. Uh, we got our first honey. This time it's just wild honey, which I don't think is worth very much, but it, it's literally effortless, so that's, that's pretty good with me. Um, I think I'll sell the quartz. Actually, I'm not sure. I will sell the honey. Uh, and tomorrow I think I'll head over to the bundles and put the purple mushroom in. I, I'm not sure if that brings me closer to doing anything. I think it was the dyes bundle that that goes in, or possibly... Oh, it's the exotic foraging bundle, so we're about to finish that, so that's perfect. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything else. I have quite a few things now that I could sell at the Adventurer's Guild, so I think I'll do that as well. Uh, but mostly I think copper is what I have a lot of, which is perfect. Let's just uh, get a little bit more. Okay, let's think. What should we use the copper for? I think we will have enough for... We've got enough for a tapper easily, but um, I think we do have enough for a silo. Which is something I'm pretty tempted by. But I'm not entirely sure where to put it. Um, could make some more crab pots. I feel like the silo would, would be pretty useful though. Well, for now, let's just go to sleep. 
since uh, it is now midnight and we will for the, pretty much the first time ever actually be making it into bed at a decent time. I think I'll uh, get rid of this last red mushroom actually. And hopefully when we wake up we'll have an upgraded house. I'm not sure how that works, like if the house is meant to upgrade while we're still in it. But we'll soon find out. Okay, we have upgraded our house just from the achievement coming in. 4,000 farming. Those blueberries are making so much money. Like, that's a ridiculous amount of money. Mayonnaise, wild honey, that's a decent amount. Like, considering the wild honey took absolutely no effort on my part, like, I'm pretty pleased to be getting that. Uh, hops, an okay amount. I mean, those really aren't worth that much, but they do produce every day. Still, that's a good haul there. Uh, foraging. Red mushrooms are worth a decent amount, actually. Chanterelle's worth a hell of a lot. Cave carrots, not really worth anything. Uh, pine tar's worth an alright amount. Again, that takes absolutely no effort, so that's good. Uh, fishing. Shrimp worth an okay amount. Oysters worth not really anything, but still 5,000 gold coming in there, so that's perfect. Let's take a look at the new house upgrade and see how things look. Okay, interesting. Oh, okay, that's really interesting. The uh, the living room has remained exactly the same, but the bedroom has kind of extended out into its own thing. And we've now also got this house, not house, but uh, kitchen area. So we've got fridge here. Cooking. How do we cook? <laughs> Fried egg. Is that really the only recipe we know, or is it just the only recipe we have something for? Wow, okay, we seem to know very few. Very few options here. Eggplant, that's not a thing we have. Sardines, hash browns. It's not going to be an option. Omelette, I, yep. We can't make any of this stuff. Roots platter could have been a potential option, actually, if we uh, kept the winter root from when we found it in the farm. Uh, not the farm, in the... Uh, the icy area of the mines. I might make fried egg. Just so we can say that we have cooked something today. So that, I assume then that the, um, the chicken will have produced another egg today. So we'll try that out. Just trying to get out. Let's see, perfect, got an egg here. Uh, still on zero hearts. I'm not sure how that works actually. Um, so today I can actually go and get another potential upgrade from uh, Robin, which I'm pretty tempted by. Let's make a fried egg. Okay, perfect. That's our first lot of cooking done. And we've got tomatoes, another pepper. I thought we had more peppers than that. Did we only get one there? Oh no, we got two. Okay, that's fine. I've got another copper bar down there. We've got snail here. We've got more blueberries, which is perfect. That'll be even more money. Just grab all those. I'm going to save the fried egg, actually. I'm not going to eat that right now. Um, I don't think it'll be worth very much if I sell it. I think it'll be worth less than mayonnaise, but at least we can actually eat it. So that's a fairly easy way to get energy, if I don't mind sacrificing the 150 gold for the mayonnaise. Um, hops. Yeah, I'm going to have to ship some of this stuff right now, actually. And then I'll go do the watering and stuff, so I'll see you guys in a moment.
Should have known that a child wouldn't enjoy spices. That was silly on my part. So let's see what's on the beach. Uh, another rainbow shell. That's cool. I want to be the. It will be one of the last ones of summer, I think. Got a nice haul here. Oh, it's a golden. It's a gold star rainbow shell. So that's even better. Inventory full. Um, let's do that then. Hmm. Okay, I shouldn't have picked up all th four solar essences, that was a bit much. Uh, pinecone. I could get rid of this last copper ore, but I feel like that's probably actually more useful than two pinecones, so I think I'll get rid of the pinecones. Let's go sell these to Willy's. Willy's birthday is actually coming up very soon, so... I should probably do some fishing and try and get a nice fish to give him. I assume that's what he'll enjoy the most. Let's uh, sell this. 450 gold, very nice. Lobster's worth a nice amount as well. I think that's the first lobster I've had, actually. Um. Okay, now I need to go check the other section of the beach, just in case there's some coral there. Okay, we got a clam and some coral, but that's about it. It's better than nothing, though. Do I have any gifts for these guys? Not really. No, okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fish until about, probably about six-ish, half six-ish, and then I'm going to head up along the community center, hand in the purple mushroom so that we can complete the uh, exotic foraging bundle, and then I'll try and swing by the adventurer's guild and sell the small magnet ring and the carving knife, neither of which I need at all. And that should be it, I think. Alright, so it's time to finish off the exotic foraging bundle with this purple mushroom. And we'll see what we get. Five Autumn's Bounty. Plus two foraging, plus two defense. An amazing, amazing amount of energy and health back. So that's actually really solid. Um, yeah, so if I need... I can't imagine where you'd go to use both defense and foraging at the same time. That seems like a strange... That seems like a very strange, uh... Strange combination of bonuses. But, apart from that, that's a, that's actually a really nice reward. I think that means if I need food for anything anytime soon, I should be really well stocked up. Okay, my inventory's still full. Um... I know. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. 
Oh crap, 8pm. I think... I think the Adventurers Guild might actually just, just have closed. Or it might close at 10, I'm not sure. I assume that the Carpenter's Shop... Yep, yeah, that's closed as well. Oh, I just missed that, that sucks. Okay. Well, hopefully the Adventurers Guild will still be open then. Absolutely no point going to the mines right now. I have absolutely no way of breaking rocks open. Okay, perfect. This is still open. It's uh, 100 gold and 50 gold. That's really not great. So one of those. And I'll check this. 115 out of 125 cave insects. I could probably, I could probably get that done actually. If I just go out of my way to hunt down insects, I might go do that. I think floor 15 was a good place to come for killing bugs. But if I can't get through to the next floor then I'm kind of screwed. So that's one. Two, three. Damn, <laughs> just missed out. Okay, I'm gonna have to leave now. Actually, I can use this again. Let's go to 10. Damn, it sucks. There's actually some useful loot here, but I, I just can't get it. Yeah, let's leave. Let's try going straight back to floor 15. <laughs> it won't have regenerated, actually. Actually, it has. Okay, perfect. Damn, just missed that. Okay, so this is, I think, six now? Or six or seven, so... Uh, I need to kill three more after this. Although the Adventurous Guild will be closed. I didn't think about that part. Okay, let's call this number seven. What's that? What is that? Cherry bomb. Perfect. Okay. Um, get rid of the slime. Put the cherry bomb up here. Let's uh, let's save that actually. Just out of reach. Really? Screw it. Monster Slayer goal complete. See Jill for a reward. Is it Gil or Jill? I think it's Gil. Okay, leave the mines. I'm pretty sure this will now be closed. In fact, I'm 99% sure, but that kind of sucks. Because I just got that done. But yeah, that's, uh, that's our first Monster Slayer quest complete. Now it's time to head back to the farm and I won't have time to do anything else actually so that'll be that. Okay I'm gonna sell one of these just to see how much it's worth. It must be worth a nice amount. Um, broken glasses I'll keep uh, I'm going to keep the tuna. I think I might give that to Willy on his birthday, assuming I can't catch a bit of a better fish before then. Seaweed I know is used in some recipes, but I think I'm going to sell it for now. Uh, sweet pea, I don't really need to be keeping that around. Uh, the rest of this stuff... I guess I'll keep the rest of this actually, but I'll put the... I'll put one of these away. And... Hmm... 
I'll put the tuner away as well, since that'll just be taking up space until Willie's birthday. Uh, fiber. Yeah, I'll put that away. Okay, that should be enough, I think. I'm just gonna put the broken glasses in the recycling machines, and then I'll go to bed. I don't know if I actually watched TV today, that would have been a good good idea in hindsight. I'm actually really hoping. Living off the land. Welcome to the Living Off the Land, we're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up, most towns have a seasonal calendar in front of their general store. It's a good idea to check on that now and again to get a feel for what's going on in the community. Make sure to check for any job postings as well. Okay, that's that's like, that's like really basic for something in the middle of first year, but I guess if someone somehow missed out the calendar function for the entire game so far, that could be useful for them. Weather report... Blah, 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 blah. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. I'm actually really pleased about that because that means it wasn't a waste of time to be putting in the um, pickaxe for an upgrade. Fortune teller, this was today actually. Okay, so I had extra luck today. I'm not sure if that made a difference or not. I did I did have luck killing bugs, so that's something, I guess. And the uh, the fishing didn't go too badly, but I'm not sure if that's... I'm not sure if that has anything to do with the luck or not, really. Let's grab some more bait. And that will be that. It actually takes slightly longer to get to the bed now. That kind of sucks. <laughs> I, I haven't planned for that. Okay, level 6 fishing. Plus 1 fishing rod proficiency. New recipe, spinner. New crafting recipe, Trap Bobber. I think those are both types of tackle, for which I will need the Iridium Rod, so that might be something I get tomorrow, actually. I'm not 100% sure it's a great use of money, but I'm tempted to do that. So let's see how much money we've made. Again, quite a nice amount. Hot peppers, hops. Again, it's the blueberries that are bringing in all the money. The tomatoes are actually worth quite a nice amount. That's not bad. Foraging, sweet pea, 55 gold. That's not actually bad. Red mullet. All, all four were gold star. That's kind of surprising to me. That must have been that must have been the fortune teller thing. That, that's the only way I can make sense of that. Um, snail, 65 gold. 50 gold on the refined quartz. Uh, the Autumn's Bounty was worth 350 gold, that's actually really nice, but um, I'm not sure it's particularly worthwhile. Autumn's Bounty, I think, would be quite useful for when you're chopping down trees. But it would also be very useful in the mines, so I think I'll keep them around for now. Okay, and that will be that. So, today I think I might go get the Iridium Rod upgrade. And uh, we'll see about making Tackle. Let's see if that is that on here. Yes, it is. Two iron bars for that. That's not going to be worth it. Trap bobber. Trap bobber. Causes fish to escape slower when you aren't reeling them in. That's actually really useful. And I have got a spare copper bar, I guess. I mean, I do have things I could use that for. But yeah, I might go get the iridium rod. Otherwise, I'll, I'm sure I'll do something useful either way. So yeah, see you then, guys.